This is Frank Reeves reporting for IFL TV and Association of Macklin's Jim Marbell. I'm here with Akeem Ennis Brown, who's just won a fantastic fight. Seventh fight, 10 rounder, the English title eliminator, which you won against a good opponent. You've announced yourself to the super lightweight division. How did the fight go? Well, it's obviously, I knew it went how I thought it was going to be. I didn't. I know it wasn't going to be easy, but I knew I couldn't be way levels above this guy. Like, I won't take nothing away from him because he was a strong opponent. But I knew he were on my league, but I know I'm starting to be, you know, reckoned about him. I was like my guy, been saying to all these people out here, bro, just wait till you see me. Wait till you see me show up and give me the opportunity. I'm gonna knock doors down. So, you know. Well, you definitely announced yourself tonight as I say your seventh fight to going against a ten, I mean, ten rounder against a quality opponent, and he is a good opponent, strong, strong. bigger the weight. I mean, you're a, a slippery South Korean, <laughs> should we say. First time I've seen you tonight, but yeah. I, was, I was surprised at how skilled from you actually was. <laughs> it's a brave thing to do, to step up that early. Yeah. You know, what, what are the thoughts of the team, the trainers, the promoters, what's, what's, what's the plans? He's got a lot of confidence. It's not, it's, the hardest thing is holding him back, and this was, this was us holding him back. He fought anybody, and we knew that Freddie can punch, but we knew that the people that he stopped ain't nowhere near the same league he's in. And I all respect to Freddie, you know, he's a good fighter and a big puncher, but he's got a good chin as well. So if you can hit him, he's still not doing anything, do you know what I mean? So it's disheartening. It looks, I mean, I, I was watching the fight in and out, obviously, I've seen the start, he was totally bamboozled by your style. Towards the middle rounds, it started to close the range a little bit better. You know, I, I was thinking, was it too early? Was you going to start to get tired? But you just seemed to get stronger as the fight went on and became even more slippery if, if that's possible. Well, it's like we've been, we've been training with top guys, man. Like we've been up in Tony Bull Gym, training with Lee Salvi, Andrew Salvi. We go in Bristol training with Tribuca, Craig Evans, all top boys. But like these level, these guys are training for like the European titles, world titles, British titles. You know what I mean? So when you're around to that level, you raise your game up to that level. Like, I know Freddie gonna be on that their level, bro. So you know what I mean? Like literally, I knew I knew I could literally just keep coming stronger. And it's like my guy always said, like the better opponent brings the best out of me. So you know what I mean? No matter how good Freddie is, I'm always gonna come better. So, so you've won the English title eliminated tonight. Any ideas when the English title fight's going to be, or, or potential opponents on other title itself is vacant? We've got one next week. Well, we sit down and look what's available next week. It's two or three options. Can we can we talk about those? Or? No, not yet. We need three of us to sit down and discuss what's in front of us. We're going to have a nice happy drive home tonight. Okay. Nice happy drive home. Definitely. But it's funny because coming to coming up here, I've always got underdog going right? on. I mean, they were all saying how this guy could have knocked me out in the sixth round. Freddie, you didn't knock me out, did you? You couldn't even fucking touch me, bro. Let me strike my language. But, you know, like, obviously, that, that stuff making me the underdog just made me even want to go out there and do way better anyway, you know what I mean? So, it's literally that, man, literally. And I, all I want to say is, I, I, just want, I told you, I told you from the start, when I signed, when I signed up my contract with this man here, I told you, I'm not here to be a, become a pro to see I'm a pro fighter. I'm here to become the best, bro. Whether I can take over the English, British, European, world, whatever, but I want to go all the way and I want to create my name in history, you know what I mean? When I say this stuff, I don't say it for the sake of saying it, but I mean this. And I hope out there I proved it now. Look, he got talk a lot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're obviously very skillful, very slippery. What, what, was, your, what was your amateur background? Or your, the unlicensed? What, what did you do, though, well, amateur? I'm, I'm an amateur. Um, I had 31 fights, won 25 of them, uh, mm -hmm. uh, six of them, uh, a couple of bad draws. Well, he got robbed in the Harrogate final, he got robbed in the Class BA Day final, <laughs> and tonight was redemption. Yeah, so I said, I said, I'm coming up here, I'm not leaving to no judges, I'm leaving to no one to be able to take away from me, I'm coming from mine. But finally, I'm glad I got to go out there and win great mind, you know what I mean? So, this is the start, man. This ain't, this ain't done all I got. I got. I got way better than this, you know what I mean, to show. So, just wait and see, people, wait and see. <laughs> You've been a pro for just over a year. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in a year's time? Wow. Vegas. <laughs> Literally Vegas, man. Like, I don't know. Man. Unless it's a year's time from now, God willing, only the big man upstairs know, but God willing, I, I believe I, I should be pushing for world like, level by the time this point. Like, if not on a world level, then just kicking through the doors to get yeah, there. Yeah, build your way up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, only God knows, you know? Only God knows. I don't want to say too much, but only God knows. So, yeah. Well, it was a good win tonight, as I say, you've, you've certainly announced yourself to the, uh, on the domestic scene. Definitely. Good luck with the future. So before we go, I just want to say thank you to all my sponsors. I'm going to do a, a video tomorrow, so I'll name you all out like, tomorrow. But I want to say thank you to all the support that come out from Gloucester. I've got a whole army up there, like over 100 out there, you know what I mean? Come and raise the roof down. I want to say thank you to my brother, 
big man John here, Keith with opportunity on a say good thank you to my son at home, should be in bed right now, of course he is, but you know, um, mum, family, everybody, you know, you know, everybody back at home man. Just uh, all of you back at home, yeah, thank you for supporting your boy. Yeah. And to the doubters, middle finger. <laughs> nice one, really well done mate. Cheers man, thank you, thank you.